My farm is in the village called Manjakudi, which is in Tiruvarur district in Tamil Nadu. We have about 35 acres, which from the last uh, eight years, we have been doing organic farming. We don't use pesticides and or any other fertilizers except cow dung vermi and uh, vermicompost and related uh, material. The f uh, grains we cultivate are the indigenous paddy varieties from across India. Not just only Tamil Nadu, we also have from Manipur, Assam, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, UP, Odisha, Andhra, Karnataka, Kerala and of course Tamil Nadu. And why do you conserve them? I feel we had, it is part of our rich cultural heritage. There is a book in the Saraswati Mahal library where, which talks about uh, festivals which used a particular kind of a rice and I was fascinated because rice culture rice agriculture and the culture of the people are intertwined because uh, it, you know the festivals follow the rice whenever the, uh, the, all our festivals will start for example the moment the agriculture starts then after harvest we hardly have any festivals that is in Tamil Nadu, at least I have noticed this. So I feel there is a celebration of rice which we have lost and all rice today has got a number like a, like a prisoner, you know, uh, num number 22, number 84 and 45 and all that. Whereas if you look at the, our indigenous um, uh, very heritage rice names, each is so beautiful like Badhumalati or we have um, uh, Karunkuruvai or you have uh, Jiraka Champa or uh, you have Jiraka Shala. They are so beautiful and I don't understand why we should lose our, it's like losing our heritage. So I was very particular we should cultivate this uh, indigenous varieties. So how many varieties do you have? We have about 273 varieties which we cultivate at present out of which about 85 varieties uh, we are trying to bring it in, out into the market to help our customers understand the, the variety of rice that we have, the richness of that rice and how each rice has got a unique difference, unique micronutrients and it is good for health plus to me, rice is one thing which is no allergy, no known allergy in human beings. And the first infant food is rice, not wheat. And for elderly people, the last food is also rice. So it is, you know... So you are linking this conservation weight with marketing? We are also marketing it in, in, a, in a digital way, as well as we have a small uh, uh, store in Chennai through which we are... Uh, in. We are educating the customers, we conduct workshops, we, we create food products and, some, and uh, then we have gift boxes. So we are trying to reach out to, we have got a consumer base of about 300-400 people. We hope that others will also take it up and uh, you know, spread the word around. And uh, uh, tell me something about aromatic rice varieties here. Tamil Nadu aromatic rice varieties we find um, because I read somewhere that ri aromatic rice you need a minimum temperature of about 19 or 20 degrees at night which we don't have in, uh, in this region so the ar aroma is kind of limited but Jiraka Champa is one of our uh, fragrant rices which we are growing but we also grow aromatic rices from other parts of India we may not get this like for example Gobindabog when we grow it here and the Gobindabog grown in Bengal there is a vast difference or Ambe Mohar grown in Maharashtra and Ambe Mohar which we grow here there is some fragrance but very mild 
that difference we see thank you very much thank you thank you